Metadata Analyst Professional Certificate. This is a brand new course series on Coursera and I would like to draw more attention to it, because I think it has everything to become a very popular learning program. Hey guys, my name is Daniel and today I want to talk about the Metadata Analyst Professional Certificate on Coursera. So things I am going to cover in this review are course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. And now let's start. Overview. Alright folks, so it's no secret that data analyst is one of the hottest jobs in IT market now. And in this certification program professionals from Meta give you the knowledge and the practical skills to become one. In just 5 months or less they promise to teach you some technical skills that are in high demand now. And I am talking about Python statistics and SQL in spreadsheets. Moreover, this program is designed to get you job ready. And it does that by equipping you with the most important tools you need to succeed in today's competitive tech industry. You will master three valuable skills through hands-on learning and expert guidance. So what exactly you will learn here? Well guys, in this program you will dive into the basics of data analysis and how it guides decision making. You will explore the awesome framework for tackling analytics questions. And you will also master essential tools like SQL, Python and Tableau for data collection, visualization and analysis. Throughout the course you will apply statistical methods to hypothesis writing using real project scenarios. This hands-on approach will give you practical experience in designing experiments and interpreting results. And honestly folks, it's great to see that this core series focuses on practical learning so much. In fact, it's even more than that. Once you complete it, you will have a whole portfolio that can proudly showcase to potential employers. Or you can use it to boost your own business goals. Prerequisites. And here is another great thing about this certificate. You don't need any prior knowledge for this core series. It's tailored for beginners in data analysis but it's also beneficial for anyone aiming to improve their data analytics abilities. So basically it would be perfect for learners aiming to kickstart a career as an entry-level data analyst. Because it's specifically designed to give you all the fundamental data analysis skills. By the way guys, I have reviewed other learning programs on data analysis before. If you are interested, check out those videos on my channel. Structure and content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the content I make. That's all. Now, it's not the largest certification program I have seen on Coursera. But there is still a lot of solid content here. It will take you about 5 months to complete it at 5 to 7 hours a week. There are 5 courses in this series, here they are. Introduction to Data Analytics. In this course you will get hands-on experience with basic analytic tasks like data extraction, cleaning, manipulation and analysis. You will also learn about the awesome cycle, a framework for managing analytic projects. Plus, you will dive into real-world examples to see how companies use data insights to make better decisions. Data analysis with spreadsheets and SQL. In the second course, you will learn how to use spreadsheets and SQL queries to analyze and extract data. You will dive into the practical side of the awesome data analysis framework. That will show you how to clean data, calculate summary statistics and evaluate correlations using spreadsheet functions. Plus, you will explore common data visualization techniques and how to use dashboards to tell compelling stories with your data. Python Data Analytics Ok, the course number 3 lets you explore the Python programming language and how to use it to work with datasets instead of spreadsheets. Following the awesome framework, you will learn how to pull, clean, manipulate and interpret data while covering foundational programming principles and basic Python functions. You will also learn about the Pandas library and how it can be used to obtain, scrub, explore and visualize data. Statistics for marketing. In the course 4 you will really dig deep into the basics of marketing analytics. First you will make sure you understand your data inside out. Then you will tackle sampling, showing you how to ask the right questions about your data and analyze it to get the answers you need. Introduction to Data Management 
Guys, remember I said that this core series is brand new? Well, it seems like this final course in the series is still in development. There is no content published for it yet. And it should happen pretty soon. But I found some information on what you are supposed to learn here. For example, gather and manage data effectively, ensuring its quality every step of the way. Explore various data storage options, including big data systems, and understand how they are applied. Get to grips with data privacy rules and machine learning basics. So, folks, if this certification program sounds interesting to you, don't wait and start! These courses take from 14 to 27 hours to complete, each of them is broken down into 4 or 5 modules. Moreover, during the program you will dive into head-on projects to improve your data analysis skills. For example, you will apply your skills in practice to find data sources, tidy up data in spreadsheets, explore data with Python, craft visualizations with Tableau, and run statistical analysis. And I think this all sounds pretty interesting. Price and certification value Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback I have seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities You know, guys, my subscribers often ask me, Daniel, will this course help me land a job? Well, the short answer is yes, it can. Because this learning program is crafted to arm you with all the skills you need for an entry-level job. That's why it throws in head-on projects with real-world tasks. And it's all about preparing you for a job market. But, my friends, let's be real. Is it a golden ticket to a guaranteed career opportunity? No, I don't think so. Because you may want to keep improving those skills and actively preparing for interviews to get a job. Long story short, your success in job hunting is mostly about your own effort, with skills you have and not just online certification. Is Metadata Analyst Professional Certificate worth it? Alright, so now that you are familiar with this certification program, time to answer the big question. Should you spend your time and money on it this year? And honestly, I would say this is a quality learning program that teaches you some solid practical skills. I really like that it lets you work on some portfolio projects you can later show to your potential employers. So, guys, keep that in mind. Alright, my friends, that's all about my Metadata Analyst Professional Certificate review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and till next time!